All right, guys, we have here an EasyGo RXV gas. This one has an issue. Okay, let me show you. Before we get into this, I want to show you, because some people have asked me, how do you find out what year your EasyGo is? Well, the RXVs, there are several places, actually, where you can find this information. This may be true across a couple of different brands. I just know this as far as the EasyGos. Like the Yamahas, you got to decipher their serial number. you got to go online and look it up. Club car usually, unless they've changed anything in other models, but I know the DS and Precedent models have it baked into their serial number, which is basically the first two numbers after the first letters are the last two digits of the year. Hopefully that didn't confuse you. Um, but the reason I bring this up is because I had a customer of mine go to buy a used EasyGo that was being sold as a year that it wasn't because it was sold to the original owner as a year that it isn't. Um, the customer originally that owns the EasyGo now said it was a 2015 as they were sold it as if it was a 2015. And when I did the search on the model code, it was a 2010. And then they went to sell their golf cart to somebody else. And the, the people that were going to buy the cart are also my customers. And they asked me, they said, what year is this cart? I said, it's a 2010. They said, no, it's a 2015. I said, no, it is not. Is it? And I showed them how to look that up and I proved it to them and all that fun stuff. So long story short, we're going to shorten this down even shorter here. Uh, the way to find out is the EasyGo RXVs typically will have a tag right here on the steering column. Okay, if you have a turn signal cover, just remove the cover. See, this is a 2010 EasyGo RXV. Here's your serial number. All right, also it's, no, I'm sorry, this. This lower number right here in that barcode, the lower number with the asterisks around it is the serial number, as it is also duplicated down here. You can see this says 2010 EasyGo RXV. This might have been the number that was being used by the people that owned it, the company that owned it, whatever. I'm not exactly sure what that that number is right there because it actually does not match any other numbers anywhere on the cart. So here's the serial number also duplicated. And then you'll see the date code, which is H2310. Right there, directly. In this, whoop, this also has a horn, and that's like the fifth time that I've hit it. So right here, you can see the date code. See, that says H2310. The last two digits of that date code are the last two digits of the year. So this is a 2010 EasyGo RXV. All right, so if by chance somebody has defaced this sticker and you can't find it, there's another place you can look. All right, so the other place you can look is if you look underneath the seat, you can see here I'm sitting on the driver's side floor. And if you look on the frame, lo and behold, you will see that exact same serial sticker. All right, so that will tell you serial number and model code or date code. So if you don't see that serial number and the serial number on the steering column is gone, don't buy the golf cart because somebody's trying to pull a fast one on you or there's a problem with it or it's stolen. So don't buy the golf cart if you can't find one or both of these stickers, at least one of them. If this one back here is gone, then somebody's gone to the effort of really trying to hide it because these things really don't fall off that easily and they're hard to take off. So if it looks like that serial barcode has been tampered with, if this one's missing, that's kind of an okay thing. This one does get wore off because, you know, people put their feet up here on the pillar and, you know, sometimes they rub it away with their feet, especially if it's this old, if it's an eight-year-old golf cart like this one. It's possible for that to be gone. Uh, some people like to put the chrome covers over the steering column and that will hide it. If at last those two serial numbers, those two labels are gone, here's the other one. This one you can see is up underneath the front and this one also has all that same information. It's got the serial number and the date code or the model code. It also tell you, tells you the model, which is an RXV fleet gas. All right, so now that we understand together and we've seen the three places that there should be, at the very least, two places, there should be a visible and legible serial number and model code sticker. Now you know where to look to find out the year. So if you're gonna buy an EasyGo, which I don't know why anybody in their right mind would. All right, so now that we've determined the year, the make and model of our EasyGo, I wanna show you what this problem, or the problem that this cart has that is completely stupid. I want you to take notice to 
how close that the sheaves are on the driven and drive clutch. The driven clutch is the one that's on the rear differential. It's one that's driven by the engine, hence the name driven clutch. The drive clutch is the one that's on the motor, which drives the other clutch, hence the name drive clutch, or primary and secondary, depending on how you look at it. It's, they're the same thing. But I want to show you, look at how tight those are. So this customer here was complaining that she was hearing a rattling noise coming from the motor. Now I just want to show you something. All right, so I don't know if you guys are gonna pick that up on the microphone, or I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up and if you can hear it, but there's like a really loud, high-pitched scratching, scraping, tinging sound. Almost sounds like the internal parts of the motor are ready to explode. By looking down in here, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this or not, but the clutch has scratches on it. So after hunting and hunting and hunting, I could not figure out what that noise was, where it was coming from, what was causing it. It was just one of those things that I had to chase down and I couldn't find it. No matter what I did, I could not find the source of that sound. It just sounded like there was a problem in the rear or the problem in the motor. What I'll do is I will drive around with the seat off to try to, you know, isolate. Usually if I have a helper here, I can have them drive and they can, you know, operate the machine while I'm listening and paying attention to the noises and where it's coming from. And the distance between this face here and this face here is so tight, they're hitting each other. There's no way that those two clutches should ever be that close together because now you have two opposing rotating surfaces hitting each other. That clutch does not belong on this engine. That clutch is for the Robin engine, which is the two-cylinder four-cycle engine that was in the 08s and down. I believe that might have made it into a 2009 early, maybe. I'm not 100%, but I know the RXV started in 2009. Uh, that's the clutch that belongs on the Robin engine. Uh, according to my information that I found based on EasyGo's website, that's not the correct clutch. Uh, the correct clutch is actually this one. I know this is probably not going to focus very good in here and it's going to be blown out, but you can see it's a completely different clutch and it has a smaller diameter. So the clutch that's on this was installed at some point and it is not for this cart. So that's why the clutches are hitting. Um, so yeah, there's that. So I gotta inform the customer of the situation, see what they wanna do. If they wanna just live with the problem, then you know that's up to them. Uh, if they want the right clutch installed, they'd have to order it and get it installed for them, but uh, I guess we'll see what happens. 